Hello and welcome back to semi-finals day here at the HCL Squash Rackets Federation of India Indian Tour, Chennai Leg. You join us here for our first men's semi-final in an all-Indian contest. Here we see Mahesh, who's knocking up currently on the right, coming off 63 minutes of play so far, looking in fine form so far in this event. Having won three love in both encounters. Mahesh is the uh, current world number 47. Had a couple of good events so far in this uh, COVID period. Having played in the Black Ball um, events that have gone on. He also holds a, a one head-to-head uh, -head advantage in previous PSA encounters against his other opponent today, which is Abe Singh also of India, currently sits at 149 in the world. Also looked in great form, having had a couple of upsets against seeding to get to this stage. Does mean that he's spent a bit longer on court though, 98 minutes so far on court. I'm Josh Taylor anyway, and I'm your commentator for this event, and uh, I'm joined by Chris Ryder. How are you doing, Chris? Yeah, morning, Josh. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Afternoon in Chennai, but morning here in England, where we're commentating from. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm looking forward to this match. I mean, I think the key to this one is how Abe backs up after his match yesterday, because it was a five-setter, but he was physically struggling at some points in the third and fourth game um, when he had a young Egyptian player. I was just pushing him really, really hard, and uh, he was suffering so. He managed to pull through that in the fifth with a pretty controlled and quali high quality squash. So to me, this is all about how he how he has recovered from that match and can he play at the standard he's been playing at. If he can, he'll be a threat um, because he's been playing some high quality stuff. Yeah, I saw his first round match. I've I've seen both matches of Mahesh and uh, Mahesh has looked very clinical. Um, so far in this event, played uh, yeah, he's, very well. He's very been comfortable in yesterday. his draw, hasn't he? Yeah, it was, it, it was very composed yesterday. Um, you know, it could have become a, a messy match, I think, against the five seed moving from Al of Egypt, but he, he kept his head down and played very clinical squash, I thought. Good lines to the back of the court. Was finishing well to the yeah, sometimes front, it doesn't, the backhand side. Sometimes it doesn't work in your favour though if you haven't been really tested and you're not as sort of up to scratch as uh, hitting wise as maybe you'd like to be. Uh, it can work in your favour. So I imagine Abe will take the positives of his um, two upset victories and he's definitely going to be hitting the ball well. He's going to be tactically on, on song. So uh, I think... It'll be interesting to see how this first game develops. I do feel that Abe probably needs to, you know, take a lead. If he's if he's down in the game scores, he's really going to be struggling. Yeah, I'd agree with you. And I, th I think that's kind of what we saw yesterday from Mahesh was when he was up, he, he was able to close out the, the match very well. Just a little bit of contact. I'm not sure how that's a let, really. Was it the previous shot that Abe's asking for? Yeah, I think he just caught him. There's a bit of a smile on his face, so I don't think it was the biggest. He certainly uh, wasn't getting a let from uh, Mahesh's shot, was he? It was. Um... You know, feel like. 
He was early on to that one there, wasn't he? Now, I think this is what we're going to see from Mahesh is like he, he wants to dominate that T area, you know, physically big guy and he, he really looks to hunt across the middle. Didn't we commentate together, didn't we, on the first match of Abe? And he, he looks a really classy player. He's taking the ball in short with a lot of ease and straight lines going in. We uh, see a bit more dividends on the glass court to so the back courts in the early rounds. But from that, interesting to see if he can. Yeah, have he's, he's got a. Um, yeah, I, I that definitely. I like, I like his weight of shot. He drags people up to the front with quite soft drops. And, uh, you know, he uses his hold to make sure that people aren't volleying. So he, he stops their movement on the tee and then he's able to get it through slightly softer, which means it dies in the back corners. So it really sort of lengthens out the court for his opponent. So if he can use that to get past the volley of Mahesh, then maybe he's on something. Yeah, great. It's a bit of a contrast of styles, actually. I, I think Mahesh is... Probably plays with a bit more intensity to Abe naturally, a bit stronger around the middle of the court. I think Abe probably offers a few more options from from the corners, actually, um, as you were kind of saying, a bit better weight, but maybe a few more little subtleties in weight of sharp rather than severity. So it's a bit of a contrast of severity against subtlety a little bit. Yeah, well, I was about to say he was pretty accurate to the back of the court. So, and then he just uh, nailed one over the over the top of the court. So, <laughs> I'll leave that. It's called a commentator's curse. That. <laughs> well, I didn't say it. I was just uh, preempting it. <laughs> He just seems to have Abe. He just seems to have so much time when that ball's over hit. Like here, buys himself time. He's got such control at the top of his swing and stability in his stance. And that's a real threat, actually. I mean, you might be in position on the tee and it looks like you're controlling it. But actually, I'd say that Abe is controlling that phase of play. And it's kind of up to, up to his quality then to make the most of it. Nice passage here from Abe. String yes. together quite a few nice getting... shots in a row here. There yeah, we go. That. The I, think it, I know it's forced the error, but it's um, there's some really nice shots back to back and just working Mahesh around the court in a lovely style there. Yeah, he sort of proved to the ref there that he could get to the ball and then just didn't play it. Difficult because there was some minimal sort of interference. Well, I think it was probably only minimal. Let them feel each other out a little bit here, Ryder, but what, what would your score prediction be here? Um... Uh, I would probably go with a three love Mahesh. I think that's going to be a big ask for Abe physically after yesterday. Um, you know, and like I say, if he goes one love down, then he's in he's in a load of trouble. Uh, uh, Mahesh will just keep piling on the pressure. Um, but. You know, I, I do think that Abe, his style doesn't necessarily lend itself to a quick start, does it? Because he's trying to take control through accuracy of hitting. Um, so there's always a kind of chance there that he can 
he can start taking control of that match and take control of the tempo and then go on a run of points himself. Um, but I'm going to stick with my three, Love Mahesh. How about you, Josh? Um, yeah, it was interesting. I, I, I feel that there's at least a game in this for Abe, if not more. I, I, I'm going to go 3-1, Mahesh. I, I think there's going to be enough quality from Abe at periods of this match to to at least get a game. And uh, as you say, it's then going to be a question mark on the effect of yesterday. Um, yeah, I think it's not just the physical effect, is it? When you're, you know, it's the pressure of being a homegrown player. I think there's an emotional kind of... Uh, uh, toil of being using up adrenaline in a match like yesterday's and that's difficult to replace so quickly when you don't get a rest day um, so I think physically and emotionally you know, mentally he'll be he'll be tired here um, but you know I'd like him to surprise us and it will surprise me and uh, you know make this really competitive and test Mahesh Yeah, he's certainly shown that he's a young player on a move for me, Abe, across this event so far. Yeah, he's been impressive, definitely. And this will move him up the rankings, won't it? You know, uh, let's, I mean, yep. if he wins today, definitely. I mean, even if he loses today, it will, it will jump him up probably into the top. Oh, no, where is he? He's actually slipped down to about 100 and... 40, hasn't he? But he's 149, he will. I think. 149, yeah. He'll jump back up to his yeah. original ranking pretty quickly with this sort of form. And it's not about getting to there for him, it's about getting significantly further than that. That's some great exchanges there, though, in the middle. A lot of skill, quick hands. Oh, and unfortunately, that's probably a stroke. Big lead here so far in this first game for the older of the two Indian players. Mahesh, five-point lead. Expect to see him close this out. There's two nice nice lines hit from Abe from around the middle of the court, making the most of a couple of loose balls from Mahesh. Yeah, Mahesh has started opening up a little bit as well, hasn't he? So he started chucking in a couple of different angles and trickle boasts and you know, I think he's looking to expand a little bit. Yeah, I just feel he's lost quality in doing that. He's gone a, a bit more cross-court, as you say, a bit a few more angles, and um, actually that's allowed Abe to, to find his lines and played into his hands a little bit in these last few uh, exchanges. There we go again. Again, just cutting it off. So three very similar finishes to the rallies there where... Abe has hit a very nice line, clean, not catching the sidewall, off a cross court. Thought that was uh, Mahesh getting him back with a nice line. Uh, I just a little bit straighter there from Mahesh. That rally. It's 
through the legs. Ah, oh, great finish. <laughs> That's a bit, some lovely bits of skill there from both players. Fast exchange, one down the middle, deliberately down the middle. They played on in between the legs and a nick nick to finish. Cars for much more than that. Be on the highlights reel, won't it? <laughs> Smash 10 7 here. Three more game balls. Lengthy rally here as Mash tries to get across the line. Abbey trying to make sure he stays in this first game. Oh, beautiful angle there from Abbey. Yeah, and I like the fact that Abbey is not giving up on this at all. So he's three game balls down and actually he's lengthening the rallies, which you could think is the. Uh, more fatigued player and uh, he might not want to do but actually it's suiting him. The I think the longer rallies here have generally suited him because he he has that hold, he has that you know comfortable movement when he's accurate but it's the the pressure, the higher intensity that he's struggling with isn't it? Hmm. That's a lovely finish again from around the middle Brought this right back to 10 9. Last game ball for Mahesh. We're saying crucial first game really to set the tone for this match. Really is. Big point this. It's funny how the pressure changes so much in these situations. It was, can be completely relaxed two points ago for Abe go for his shots and then all of a sudden there's a weight of expectation now that he's in with a chance and he might tighten up a little bit this is this is what he needs now I don't really feel Abe had much of a clue where that ball was going he was just running into his opponent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it was probably a let, but uh, on another day that could have been a no let. If it, and if Mahesh had got that what a foot deeper in the court, then it was a no let. Yeah, I was just going to say if, if Mahesh had uh, recognised the situation a bit better there and just sent that a bit deeper, that that would have been a different outcome. In on this backhand to turn it across from the hash. That's good pressure there. Oh, beautiful touch. Here we good go. Well, I think that's his quality showing rider there, you know, the lovely drop from the back, you know, and then followed it up nicely. It was good pressure, you know, just towards the back end of the rally where it really mattered. Yeah, Mahesh has got such a fine line in some ways to because he wants to add pace to the ball, but he, he can't overhit it. He cannot afford to overhit, really. He's got to keep that accuracy. Good lift. interesting just looking at the body language isn't it Ryder you know Abe's got a bit of a buzz about him now he's got himself right in here
kind of player you don't really want to see with a spring in his step with some of the weapons he possesses. That's a shame, isn't it? That that was a lovely boast that went in fast. I bet you're not happy here. I think he's probably not happy about the towel break. Yeah, he could have uh, certainly could have used the towel himself, I bet. Just reset a little bit. Oh. Well, what a go wait to finish the game. There we have it. 12-10 to Mahesh. One game to love. So that was a really interesting first game there, and you can see that uh, Mahesh got after a pretty good lead, 8-3, and it was just continued pressure, really, from him. And we had to bear in mind the uh, fatigue from the previous matches from Abe Singh, who had a five-setter yesterday, a really tough five-setter, and upset the seedings two days in a row. And uh, But once he got into the first game, then Abe started using his hold and using his accuracy to control great swathes of rallies and then was able to make the court really long with his soft drops from the back and his control and his dying lengths and uh, got it back to 10 all and then it was a bit of an up of up the intensity from Mahesh who just managed to get across the line there and I feel that was an important one there for Mahesh but it will be certainly interesting now to see if how much Abe's got left in the tank because he's proved he's competitive in this if he can match Mahesh for physicality, then his quality has been really good this week. Really good. So, certainly not all over. We'll see what this game holds, shall we, Josh? Yes, both players back on. I kind of did uh, show, right, you, you said you thought Abe would be a bit of a slow starter, and he, he was there a bit. Mahesh started well, but... Turned into a really interesting first game. It'll be interesting to see uh, to where this goes now. That's a nice exchange to start us off. Front backhand corner. This is quick. Well, I was just about to say the intensity's uh, gone through the roof from Mahesh to start this off. Really trying to show him his business here. Yeah. If he can pile on the pressure here, he might feel like that's match. Matt, the heart of the match one, isn't it? You know, to go one love up, and if he went like five one up, six two, something like that, then he can really demoralise his opponent and be physically stronger and just leave him so much to do. Yeah, there's a real intent to up the intensity here. Take the ball in a little bit more. He gets the opportunity to hit through. Still lifting at the right times. But... Well, sometimes that's the problem with trying to increase the intensity. Is actually you end up making the wrong shot choice. You're not lifting when you should lift. You're not focusing on accuracy. You're not watching as well. 
you know so and these things could play into Abe's hands he likes pace coming onto him he doesn't have to generate it then all the time and he could deflect that pace and deflect it round into the corners so um you have to be careful playing at pace on such a skillful player Well, the intensity has definitely come out of it very quickly, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just to the to the accuracy, isn't it? It's become a bit pity, which can happen. And you've got one player trying to force the pace a little bit, and then you've got another player control with the control of someone like Abe. Yeah. We've got obviously a bit of discussion as well, which doesn't help a few decisions. No, I think that Mahesh should really just be getting on with it there. It's a pretty clear stroke, and he wants this to be continuous play, really. Well, Abe not happy with his movement twice there. Movement off the ball from Ash. He felt it was going, I think, into his line that he was coming in. Wow, it's close. Saw that happen a couple of times yesterday where the player got hit by the ball. It is bouncy on there, it is hot, so those cross courts come out a long way. That's a lovely drop from Abe seeing there. And he's actually managed to get himself a 5 3 lead here, so after that initial intensity spike at the start first couple of rallies he's really brought it down to a pace where he's happy and he can impose his accuracy and that's unlucky there just catching the top of the tin a nice pattern of play there quite a controlling lob almost encouraging his opponent to hit hard from that high forehand That's an incredible bit of skill again from Abe. Couldn't back it up, couldn't capitalise on it. Now he's in trouble. Nice lift again. And there we go, fine margins. Catches the top of the tin for the second time in a row. That's just the pressure he's under. He's just under pressure, just Mahesh, just hitting it that little bit harder, getting on the ball that fraction earlier. It adds up, it adds up over over time, 10, 20, 30 shot rallies.
A critical phase of this match really now, five all in the second. Abe does bring it back to Abe does bring it back to one all, then we're in for a bit of a match if he's got himself moving. He's got his accuracy working, he's hitting his targets at the front and he's got some threat. And if he's starting to read Mahesh a bit better as well, then you know the match is starting to swing in his hands, but he needs he ne this is such a critical phase, he needs this portion of the match. Really locked in here, Ryder, six all. I actually thought the score was six five, but I've <laughs> 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 watched this squash too much. Ah, oh, that is a beautiful shot from Abbe. Showing some emotion after it as well. Yeah, he he really does need this portion of the match, doesn't he? This is so critical here. No. Nope. That's interesting. Pretty close to a stroke that, just looking at the line of the ball. Yeah, yeah. But well, Mahesh should have done better from there, really, I felt. Like, uh, he had an opportunity to tuck that away in the corner. Oof. Well, he's done well here, Abbe, to to keep in it to seven all, and he's he's just kind of always got a chance, even though he was ten seven down in the last game, he came back to a tie break, forced a tie break. So he's he's done done the job of staying in this game. Now he's got to be able to step up and take it away from his opponent. Great, Great cross from, court. Uh, from there. Yeah, Probably considering that ball was pretty blue. Some of these lines are it's hitting are fantastic. It's been consistently using that cross court lift out the front backhand as well, Ryder. It's not going in or hitting something aggressive, it's the lift. It's clipping the top of the tin now though. Be annoyed well, with himself there. He'd got himself into a good position, and then a couple of uh, couple of errors, and it's flipped right back to Abe. Nine eight. Yeah, I think he's he's just uh, he's tried to force the pace, isn't he? And that's where his errors have come from. Take it in, and I don't really feel he need needed to in the last two rallies. Oh, it's a beautiful finish as well from Abe. That brings him up with two game balls here, ten eight, in this second game. And this is a horribly close to your prediction being right, isn't it, Josh? Well, who knows? It might go a lot further. <laughs> He's done exceptionally well here, Abbe, from, from that close situation at mid part to find himself here at 10 8. A few errors from Mahesh and a few nice balls from him. Catching him with a the racket there. Yeah. <laughs> well, despite the uh, yeah, I think we had a perfect view from where we were at that camera angle at the front, which um, 
I think showed a little bit of naughty movement off the ball there. Because I mean, to be honest, he hit the neck, didn't he? If he'd uh, if he'd let his opponent come through there, Abbe, um, it would have probably been a no let, or he probably wouldn't have got the ball. Lovely touch. Oh, <laughs> well, if you look at the quality of that ball, it was literally rolling down the side wall, wasn't it? Which is yeah. what Mahesh is now pointing out. Yeah, a little bit of discussion, which... And I don't yeah, really see that Mahesh's movement there was any worse than Abe's movement in, uh, in the previous point. But anyway, there we have it. 13 minutes, second game. Younger of the two Indian players taking it 11 8 to draw us level at one game all. So we've got a match on our hands here, which is quite impressive from Abe Singh once again, who's been sort of one of the stars of the show this week and already produced two upsets of uh, seedings. And now he's firmly got himself into this match at one all. It was pretty level pegging the second game all the way through, and then he pulled away with the last four points at the end there, which actually we saw him do in his first match consistently. And I felt that um, Mahesh was trying to up the intensity, but he didn't quite get his accuracy right there. And Abe was able to pick him off, off his overhit shots, and use his lovely touch there. So this will be all to play for now. Yes, yeah, a very intriguing situation here, isn't it? Good finish from Mahesh there to take the first point on the board in this third game. Be, it's... Uh, I think this first passage could set a bit of a tone. It, if it goes tight, you know, it's, if one player can get ahead, get a bit of a lead, it might just swing some momentum. But if it goes tight, I think we could be locked in for quite a bit longer, Ryder. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Mahesh has been able to sustain a an intensity that Abe is uncomfortable with for long enough. Um, you know, I think he's trying to increase the tempo, isn't he? But he's not quite reading him well enough. He's not quite getting on the ball early enough to be able to do that for sustained periods of time to get into him physically. <laughs> so very good exchange there. <laughs> Probably hit the ball back to each other. Looked like a little <laughs> skill game. Yeah, he's just, in passages, Mahesh has done enough to to trouble. It's not been sustained, you know. Uh, I think it's that sustained pressure that he's going to need to put someone of the, the skill set of Abbe away. And it's credit to the, the younger player as well, you know, using his variation to keep getting himself back into this match. Soft error there off the serve. Just not putting enough pace on what was a soft lobbed serve. Oh, 
Well, your prediction ride has gone out the window. So, uh, it has, hasn't it? But I'm pleased in a way because, well, I, I am pleased for the sake of the game. I thought that Abe would really struggle to come back after that match yesterday, to be honest, because there were points in that he looked down, at, down and out. Um, and that I know from experience how hard that is to come back the next day and actually increase because he's got to play a better player. He's got to play the number one seed here. Mm. But yeah, now he now he has actually settled into this match. It doesn't. It looks very even, doesn't it, on the face of it? Yeah, I'd agree with you. There's um, it becomes very hard to call at this stage. Not quite covering off the ball as he was at the start of the match, though, Abe. So. You know, some of the effects you were talking about, there's just a few movements there, a little bit slower off the ball. Yeah, and he's guessed a few times, hasn't he? And he's got it right so far, but yeah. he won't be able to keep getting it right. I don't feel that it was necessarily... Uh, there's a fine line between anticipating and guessing, isn't there? And he was on the guessing end of it. Yeah, I'm just watching a few of his lunges at the back of the court. It's just starting to look a little bit heavier. Nice counter there, good line hit after setting up the diagonal. Yeah, Hesh really just needs to get out of the way there. Like, he'd hit a nice line, it probably would have been a winner, but it's quite clearing enough. Yeah, that's happened a couple of times, hasn't it? You know, it's actually in his favour to make his opponent go and get it if, when he's hit a quality shot, which that is. Don't see too many of those, do you, with the um, three wall Nick Bose winners? Yeah, I think we're just starting to see some of the effects of yesterday in Abbey. I do think, you know, as the ball got caught behind him there, just a few little uh, twitches between point as well. Big lead yeah, this here. Gone from really quickly. This is run away a bit. He was just onto that ball very, very early, wasn't he? And, you know, it's such fine margins in squash where, you know, you start to read someone a bit better, you start to get a fraction more accurate or your opponent's physicality dips a little bit and points go very, very quickly. Yeah, it's looking like Abe as well has, has binned off this, this third game, a bit of a regroup phase. Probably uh, getting himself his head right for mounting a bit of a comeback. Looking very lethargic in his walk to the service box there. Yeah, but you'd want to make sure your racket skills are, you're feeling confident about them going into the next game, wouldn't you? Hmm. Yeah, it's part of this sort of ebbs and flows of a match, and it's a bit of a weird phase here. It's not quite closing out how he'd got to his big lead, and uh, Abe looking very relaxed. But here we go, we've got game balls 10 4.
and done first time. 11-4 to Mahesh, that's the third game, takes him to a 2-1 lead. So a pretty convincing third game there for number one seed Mahesh and you can see that passage of play there where he just pulled away four points to nine points and uh, Abe was definitely starting to struggle and feel the physicality of this match and previous matches and he's still, he's still in this, he's definitely playing at a very high level. Um, can he get it back? Can he have one big last push here? He's certainly got the skills to unsettle the number one seed here. So we'll see if there's a big push here at the start. There'll need to be, but Mahesh is going to keep piling on the pressure. Now Bay returns to the court. Fresh shirt. Maybe a bit of a psychological thing. A bit of a refresh. Get the mind back going. Do you think... Um, one of the things he'll take from this tournament is he's got to have faster starts and start imposing himself earlier in games and matches. Yeah, I'd agree with you, uh, Ryder, in that. And um, I just see it as well, you know, you, you're going to have to back up matches. It's the nature of, of the sport, isn't it? So, um, you know, we're seeing a few physical signs. So I guess just that, that confidence in backing up matches. And I think there's a lot of positives to take away from it. You know, he's um, really showed his skill set. I think he's uh, gone about his business in a really good way as well. Certainly uh, showing the standard of a player that's much higher than his ranking. With more events coming back, more experience, I expect to see him as a player on the move a little bit here. Yeah, I think one of the nice things, it's, a, it's an enjoyable brand of squash to watch, isn't it? You know, he's a, mm. you get a let there. Yeah, he's a, he shapes up really nicely for the shots. You know, he's got threat, he's got options, he's got variety. There's a lot of skill in there. So, you know, it's something that we'd like to see more and more of coming up in PSA. And we are, I mean, with this, the skill level on show at the, the top of the sport list these days is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a modern brand of squash, isn't it? It's a brand that's ready for where the sport's at. So, certainly with more experience and, you know, as the quality refines, I think he's set up to do well. As you'd expect, got a little bit buzz back, Abe, just um, starting to put some patterns together here. 
Yeah, I Manette Mahesh needs to, for his part, he needs to keep his discipline. He needs to keep that ball pretty tight, doesn't he? And, you know, apply pressure when it's appropriate. You know, it's, I feel sometimes he's trying to apply pressure and he's a bit deep in the corners to be able to do that. Um, and it shouldn't really hurt him to go slow for a little bit and make the rallies a bit longer and then increase the pressure when, when it's the right time. Yeah, and I think it's just that, I mean, here he's starting to straighten out again, but it, it's just that little bit from Mahesh where he starts to go a little bit wayward, starting to open the course up a little bit more. And actually, Philly's got a lot more reward in this match yeah. from the, the straighter passages where he's hit really quality lines with weight to the back of the court, just limiting Abbe's options, really. Just really good, simple squash done very well, but not getting caught in some of the open passages where, where that's where Abbe's skill set and his options lends itself. Oof. <laughs> Crikey. Bad error there from yeah, the end of the court from Abbe. It's just opened up a two point lead from Mahesh. He's going to have to respond here. He doesn't want this to race away. A couple of errors now. Yeah, I think that's a fair decision, actually. I mean, Mahesh's racket went very high, very quickly, looking for, for Abe rather than trying to find a line round there. Well, I'd like to see a replay of that, Josh. I wasn't so sure. <laughs> you know, I thought the, it just, the quality yeah. of Abe's shot, though, it did, it pop, I thought it popped out, caught the sidewall, popped out. Um, I thought it was closer to a, a stroke, but, you know... That's why I'm not yeah, on Yeah, it's just how high his racket was and how quickly he just went for Abbey. I think the way he went about it didn't help. But that's uh, it's probably helped the match out, though. It's brought, brought it back to 4 all, and um, that lead, little lead that Mahesh built has, has gone very quickly. aggressive line yeah, so that's a pretty incredible shot really I mean he's hit that about as hard as he can hit it from a high backhand about half an inch above the tin um, <laughs> don't know if you could ask much more well I don't know if he pushed him there he's uh, Yeah, I feel that's a bit of an exaggeration. I'd, I'd have to see a replay to, to see that. But it, it definitely wasn't yeah. a two-handed shot because he's got a racket in one hand. So <laughs> he's got, yeah, and he was facing the other way playing a shot. Maybe he got caught yeah. up in his legs. Yeah. Hold at the front, just elongating the court. That's a nice shot there, great dying length. This is going to hurt. Mm. Hi. 
Just get them straight out. I mean, the rest of the him, so it, it, did, it, did, it put together a really nice rally, and then actually it was a, a loose shot to to finish. But what's noticeable there, Ryder, was just the line of the cross court just starting to run away from Abe. Whereas um, previously in this match, where, where Mahesh has gone cross court, it's gone a bit wider and actually just opened the court up a bit. Just starting to find a slightly different angle on his cross court. Yeah, I feel Mahesh is starting to get a good accuracy on his lengths a bit more here. Uh, they're not coming off the back wall. They're not giving him extra time. But he, obviously you've got the danger with Abe. If you leave it too short, he will use his skills of uh, nice line hitting and, and taking the pace off the ball to, uh, to punish you that way as well. So you do really have to try and match him as best you can for accuracy on the length hitting. But at the same time, players want to force the pace. Mm. That's a fine line they tread, but when they do get it right, it's it's a hard battle there. When Mahesh is getting that right, hitting down on the ball, it's hitting the back of the service box type of length. Um, that's pretty pretty good stuff, really. Right there, that's a good shot. Got him in trouble. Put the kill in. Oh, I don't know how he's got that out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand Mahesh's frustration here. I don't think that was anywhere near a let, but it's still not in his favour to dwell on that and to argue with the ref. He, he needs to stop looking at his rack and get his shoulders up and get on with the next point. He was on a good roll mm. there. Yeah, and I think it's also the, the consistency you know, of what he was doing and also the time between rallies. I mean, he wants to really pile on the pressure and keep the intensity going in this match. He well, still wants to talk about the previous up. rally, doesn't he? So he definitely hasn't it's got really that one out of his head. He's not going to change the ref's mind now on the previous rally, is he? <laughs> He does not look happy. <laughs> still trying to get rid of it, isn't he? He's still trying to let that thought disappear. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of the skills that you probably don't appreciate watching watching the squash. I mean, it's just sort of like you just take it at face value. But what they're thinking, the players, they've got to deal with all these like, highs and lows within the match and uh, keeping yourself on an even keel mentally and emotionally and on a positive end of that is just so difficult and it takes so much practice and uh, you know that's you're training for that as well aren't you that's happening all the time in your training mm. what's happened here is has a light gone out josh it just uh yeah we've got Oh, we're getting a bit of a mop of the court. It's one of it's one of two things. <laughs> well, I just felt the well. power went out. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> well, this does happen every now and again. 